Hey everybody, Dave Womack here from Bird Tricks, and if you've seen us travel on our free flight trips, you've seen that we got tired of getting kicked out of hotels and built our own custom trailer, but today I'm super stoked to show you that we're not the only ones that have done that. In fact, the trailer you're about to see has way outdone ours, so you already know who this is, Jeff and Lauren, and Lauren is here to show you exactly what her amazing trailer looks like. Let's check it out. Well, thanks, Dave. First, I just want to say we could not have done any of this without the amazing Bird Tricks example. Lots of the things that I'm excited to show you today were all inspired by Bird Tricks. And yeah, let's uh, come on inside, give you the tour. So this trailer was built by Apex Conversion. So everything um, that they do here is standard. We've got a nice little bar sink, which is awesome. Just uh, works by a simple pump here. So it's great for washing bird bowls on the go. Works pretty simply just with um, gray and fresh water on the bottom. Nothing to break about it. We've got all of our food up here on the top. Um, if you follow bird tricks for a while, you know the freeze dried is amazing for travel. Um, so we've got all the different seasons, which is nice. We've got our treats for flying, our bird first aid kit, just like Dame and Jamie use. We can bring fresh fruits and veggies. It's all inside by now, but we've got our fridge, which is great. All of our utilities here, we've got our D-rings and extra clickers, anything that we might need on the road. Lots of storage in an Apex conversion trailer. So we've got all of our extra bird bowls, um, tools for making toys when the birds pull things apart. Um, and any more supplies we might need. One of the awesome things here is the climate control. Um, Apex Conversion uses this mini split unit which both heats and cools using super, super low wattage. So this has been amazing for us. Um, as Bird Tricks has taught us, we always need a secondary way to make sure that we've got good temperatures. So we got that. We measured the cabinetry to fit our tree, which we like to bring with us on the road. Just like bird uses, we keep an eye on our guys using this baby cam. And yeah, like I said, tons of storage. So we can keep all of our flight gear up here. So we've got bags that include lots and lots of stuff that we bring flying with us, our bath time stuff with aloe, which the birds enjoy in the sunshine. Cleaning supplies up here. Normally we fit our Marshall's GPS right here, but we just came back from flying today. So it's actually charging over on the counter by the kitchen area. Backpacks, carriers, we can belt these in while traveling, which is great. We've got storage underneath here, which we keep toys. Travel aviaries, which are made by Celti as well as the backpack. We can just fold those up and put them in here, plus anything else to store, lots of storage space. And then last but not least, uh, we have the same Stainless steel cages made by Preview, again inspired by Bird Tricks that has Cosmo and Nova. So they have a great time. They stay in here completely so you can be in Airbnb and not have to have it pet friendly because everything is self-contained here in the trailer. And I want to add something that she's done that we did not do, and that is if you look up here, one of the big regrets about our, our bird cages is that we have to hire somebody to come scrub them after every flight trip because it takes about half a day to clean everything. Lauren just got these little uh, what are the rubber marine latches. Oh, look at this. Can you tell? She, she's prepared. So here's the sample. You pull on it. And uh, this way she can detach the cages and pressure wash them either at the Airbnb or when she gets back home. Uh, and what a brilliant idea to be able to make it so that not only they're safe and secure, but uh, you can keep them super clean. It's a great idea. Whereas ours are pretty permanently in there, right? Like oh, yeah. We cannot take ours out. Yeah. 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 And next I want to hear a little bit more about your vehicle because for us, we bring a 7,000 watt generator to make sure that we're powering the rooftop air conditioning and heat we're in, and our mini fridge as well but you're not generating 7,000 watts, so I'd love to hear what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a huge shout out to Apex Conversion um, and Gary, who's the owner of that. Um, he really educated us about mini split units, which he uses in his trailer conversions. 
um, in part because they're really energy efficient. So between this heating and cooling unit, um, as well as the low wattage LED lights, which are fully dimmable, and the fridge, this whole trailer can be powered really, um, for the most part, in our truck, which I could show you in a sec, um, under 200 running watts. So what that means is we can use an onboard generator that comes in our truck to be able to use this. We don't need a big loud generator, um, and also it takes just a standard plug-in like a wall not uh, 30 amp not 50 amp. right yeah That's so great. it's a uh, really really energy efficient which is also nice because when the birds are sleeping you don't have this big generator running or something like that to keep them up the truck is really quiet so we can show you that that's awesome and just in case people are wondering why is this crooked <laughs> Yes, the, the mini split is uh, is exactly this way on purpose so that when it condenses water, the water can run straight down and efficiently out of the unit. So it is built that way on purpose. Not a mistake. I know somebody's <laughs> probably noticed that at the very beginning, like, okay, that's great, but they totally installed that crooked. I would have done it straight. Yeah. And I uh, have to know that like every little detail, even down to that, has been considered. I mean, this is, this is an amazing trailer. I'm a little jealous, actually. Hi. Hi, Kiwi TV. You guys are so cute. So this is all, this flips up to be all storage. And oh, sweet. You keep some of this. He also made it solar ready for us. So in the future, we're going to put solar panels on the top, which is kind of his, his jam. And then what we do is we basically put the backpacks. They fit right here, and we belt those in. Nice. Um, this guy opens, which is pretty good for like just some ventil extra ventilation mm -hmm. put some velcro around the side so we just put a piece of black felt and it blacks out the trailer but gary has other options for the blackout roller shades and this was also gary's idea to put the for our baby monitor we've got a an outlet under here so have it nice and kind of wired in there which is great i just like when you open the back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just videotape it every time. <laughs> yeah, <as you> should. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. So this is part of why we didn't set up the travel aviaries this time because where we par happen to park the trailer, they get plenty of sunshine when we come back from flight trips. So, so great. it's pretty awesome. But that's how we um, utilize ours too. We just open up all the doors and we're like, well, this feels nice. We'll exactly. leave it like this. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. At least in chemistry, right? Every new invention or step is you're standing on the shoulders of the people that came before you to give you that precedent. So that's a huge part of the reason why I'm like inspired by Bertrix, <laughs> built by Apex Conversion, because Aww. I couldn't have come up with all of this if you guys hadn't gone first. So. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, thanks. I still feel like it's a Bertrix trailer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're happy to take it off your hands. Yeah, we'll take yeah. the credit. It's awesome. I mean, it's beautiful. And I love what you did and the modifications that you made based on the amount of birds that you have and your own personal lifestyle. And I love that you were able to go in and say, these are like, this is our equipment that we need to fit in this space. Utilize it to the best of its ability. Like, and I felt like that was the, done. The height of this cabinet is based on the Marshall's case. Yeah, it's exactly that's so cool. That's inches, awesome. And I specified that the interior dimensions of the cabinet had to be 14 inches. So the Marshall's case could slide in. Because what we didn't want to do is have all this flight gear and then, oh, it doesn't fit, so we got to put it in the truck. What's the point of that? Yeah. Right. So we just made sure that everything, what in the travel aviaries, all the rest of it. No, it's sure brilliant. It I'm super jealous you were able to do wider cages for your birds. Like, that's so cool. Well, we don't have nine. To yeah, <laughs> totally. Just saying, though. I'm, um, I love it. I love that you did that and made it work. And I will say this, so we originally bought the same clamps you guys have. Yeah. But for us, it was like warp them so much. Mm. And I realized... They're not going anywhere. This has like a lip on it. I don't know if your cage has the same. Um, but to reduce rattle, actually, I took uh, little pieces of... Um, this is like that cabinet anti-slip stuff. So this doesn't rattle or cause any noise on the road. So what we have specifically for this trailer is um, this Pro Power on board system. And this just uses a regular extension cord. So I can go ahead and turn on the truck and we'll plug in the trailer and see how it works. The problem with the hybrid is that you 
don't realize it's running because it's silent until it kicks on. So here what I'm going to do is I'm just plugging the trailer in and this goes straight into the truck right here. Get the green light here, it's going. You just go look on the screen, it's less than 200 running watts. And she was telling me this originally was going to be for a generator, but then they found this vehicle so that it could plug in directly and now you don't need a generator. Yeah, but what's, uh, if for any time that we might need a generator, maybe we want to power it with propane. What's also nice is Gary built this for us where there's a little bar that goes attached that can get locked. So you can put a box in here or something else if you don't want it to get stolen overnight. It's just another really convenient little spot that we can use for storage. Now I know at least for me, hindsight is 2020, and so you'd mentioned several times that you were inspired by things we did to create this. Now that you have this, do you have any things that you, you're looking at and you're like, gosh, we did it again, this is what I would do differently? Yes, um, we do have a couple things. If I also had a little bit extra cash, um, these are the things that I would do. Um, so Apex Conversion offers a whole bunch of different options depending on your budget. If money were no object, definitely I would opt for like the upgraded window with the blackout shade built into it. That's super convenient. We just kind of did like a, we put some Velcro by ourselves around it and used black felt, but that would be really nice. Nice and easy to draw it down, give the birds 12 hours of sleep. Um, also, um, I'm jealous of the height of your trailer. So definitely I think I would try to go for one that's lifted a bit. So we could do a little bit more successful off-roading, which we have not tried to do specifically because this one is a little bit on the low side. Um, and if there were an option for a trailer with maybe a more diesel suspension, say, I would probably go for a beefed up suspension to give the birds a little bit of a smoother ride. Um, and then the last thing is that typically for Apex conversion standard, I believe they use butcher block for a counter. For us, the vehicle we had before this truck, we were very conscious about weight. Um, so Gary made a modification where we did a simpler countertop um, that didn't use the butcher block, but knowing that we have a truck to pull it and don't have to worry so much about tongue weight, I would have gone for the butcher block because those look really nice um, in his pictures. So those are the three things. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tour of our bird trailer. If you are interested in a custom trailer like this, definitely check out Apex Conversion, um, and Gary will definitely help you out. When you do, make sure you mention Bird Tricks. And by the way, guys, if you enjoyed exactly this design and you want exactly this layout for yourself, all you have to do is contact Apex Conversion and tell them you want the Bird Tricks trailer. <laughs> 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 yes! <laughs> <laughs>